So Google just dropped um, a kind of cool little feature, Search Console Insights, which is really meant for SEO, but I am going to show you how I plan on using it for paid ads. Um, here's our site. You can see that I have a suboptimal setup because I need to enter analytics. I got my face. Um, but you'll notice that this is a tool that's currently in beta. And what's kind of nifty about it is it shows you most uh, search queries and most trending queries. Um, and I, I like the delineation between the two. I'll show you why. But you can see, like, Solutions 8's our name. Obviously, we rank for that. But here's, like, why Shopify. Um, and yeah, I, we have a blog on Shopify that has always ranked really well. But Search Console here is telling me that, you know, I'm getting um, uh, 38 clicks from that particular search phrase. Here's what I really like is, this is a good example, how to calculate ROAS. It, especially if you're looking for top of the funnel search terms for a more expansive campaign, I think this type of stuff is rock frickin' solid. Now, that means it's not necessarily geared for direct response per se, because you're trying to see where your organic and paid overlap. And organic and paid overlap in the middle of the funnel, okay? So your bottom of the funnel is your paid, your top of the funnel is organic, and then somewhere in the middle is where you start to see kind of like the Venn diagram of where your traffic can intersect. And I think how to calculate ROAS is a really good example of the type of search term that we could bid on that would be much less expensive than our other search terms, but is is uh, uh, still transitional enough to where we could nurture that type of prospect. And you know, there were a couple others here that I really liked. Calculate ROAS, this is all probably the same article that's ranking. You notice I'm in the top five search results, position 2.6, that's cool. There's my name. Um, components of integrated marketing communication. That feels a little too top of the funnel. I don't think I'd bid on that one the same way I would as, as you know, calculate ROAS. Uh, Google Ads Agency, awesome. Um, medical device website, there's a niche. So I might, you know, I don't want web work anymore. We don't do that. But let's say this was like medical device marketing, for instance. Um, or, you know, smart shopping versus standard shopping. That's a hell of a phrase. I know I'm not bidding on that right now, but that is a hell of a phrase. And the fact that we've gotten eight clicks from that and we're position 8.7 lets me know that enough people are looking for this particular narrative that I, I feel like that could be, be turned commercial very quickly. This is somebody who's trying to make a decision as to what to do. So, you know, I put together like a real quick download, you know, video, whatever, and just offer it up uh, uh, in, you know, direct response fashion, if not as a direct response campaign. And that's the type of thing that I think could do solid, solid lead generation. Why Shopify is best? It's not specific enough, but like, you know, Google Ads for Shopify, maybe. Effective digital communication, I wouldn't bid on that. Um, six elements of IMC. I don't even know why. I, I don't know what that is. Landing page views. Max CPC Google Ads. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know, build some content around there. Delayed attribution, definitely, definitely. If somebody's searching, that is a that is a thoughtful prospect. If somebody's looking at delayed attribution, that's they're no dummy. That's the type of person that I feel like I could really sink my teeth into and be like, look, you know, we're not a cost center for you, we're a profit center because you're clearly spending enough for this to be an issue, um, and you know what you're doing. I love I love an educa educated consumer base. Um, Living plan is something I invented and haven't used in a long time. Uh, manual CPC bidding strategy, sure, which I just learned actually is apparently being deprecated, or that's a rumor. Um, so anyway, I like this Search Console Insights. Now, I really, John, my business partner, has a whole video on how to use Search Console for keyword research. I'll link to that video in the description of this one. Two different things. What I like about Insights is it's showing you, you know, the, the, the trending topics that you can start using and from, you know, an expansion standpoint, take what is working organically and then transition that to paid. But remember that Venn diagram that I, I mentioned. Paid and organic can meet and, and you can actually fuse them together to a greater degree and you can do that using strategies like this. So I hope this was helpful and that you like our videos. Like, comment, subscribe, do the things. I don't know why I danced. I'll never do that again. But thanks for watching.